Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray Star Goddess and I'm here to do your Divine Feminine reading. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to this channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justine Nicole? Personal readings are available. Email me at divinelyguided2 at gmail.com. Everything else will be down in the description box below this reading. So let's jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? I heard Divine Masculine. Somebody could be in contact with their divine masculine or maybe some of the things I say in this reading will apply to a divine masculine. I heard come back around. Divine feminine, be aware. You may hear from your divine masculine. I feel like they're coming back around. They come back around. The number 46 can be significant for someone. Spirit, give me messages for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, if you've been waiting on somebody, or if you've been waiting on your Divine Masculine to return, or a, a man to return, I feel like they know this information. I heard, hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, I feel like your person, they coming. They know you've been, like, waiting on them. Divine Masculine, if you have any doubts of returning back to a Divine Feminine because you feel like she's not going to accept you, um, that's not true. I feel like she will accept you. Under the right circumstances. Somebody could be, uh, somebody is returning home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Maybe Divine Feminine, your boo coming home. Your masculine coming home. Another mess I'm getting Divine Feminine. If you hear from a divine masculine, one of the reasons why you're going to hear from them, because they miss sleeping with you. They feel like having, they feel like having sex with you is fun, it's exciting. They miss that spark in the bedroom. <laughs> they miss looking at your ass cheeks. Uh, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I am. So, if, you know, if you and your masculine, especially if y'all did it, you know, doggy style, they still, like, have visions of your behind. They still have visions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I am. They still think about it. They still think about, I heard your body. They still think about your body. They like when, I heard throw it back. They like when you throw it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I am. So, it, I heard, it, it's, okay, so, it's not all about sex with your divine masculine. It's not all about sex, because y'all relationship, y'all connection is, is much deeper, right? However, they miss sleeping with you. They love sleeping with you. They get excited just thinking about it. <laughs> you turn, I feel like you turn your masculine on. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Hangman. We have the Four of Swords. Ooh, excuse me. We have the Two of Swords. What's, what's going on? All these swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have Death. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. With the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. 
So divine feminine, um, divine feminine. If you experience some type of heartbreak or some type of betrayal, whether this, whether this betrayal came from a masculine, came from a lover, another lover, or a friend or a family member. I feel like if you look at this, if you go back and look in, in retrospection, if you analyze that situation, something definitely happened in the past, right? And I feel like if you look at that situation from like a whole different perspective, then it's not gonna be really a betrayal. Like if you really just sit and think of, think about it, it's re but you have to remove your emotions and like use your logic and analyze the situation. Um, I feel like once if you're able to do that, then that would be some type of breakthrough for you, especially if somebody's been holding on to like past hurt, past trauma, um, past betrayals from people. I feel like if you go back and think of all those situations, they not as bad as you think they are. I know this sound this may sound crazy, but I feel like if you use your higher it, it's something about like if you analyze these situations from like a higher perspective. Okay, so for example, divine feminine say if What's a good example? Say if you found out back then that one of your friends slept with a person you know. It's like when you found that information out, you were hurt. You were hurt. You were sad. You felt betrayed. But looking at that situation from a higher perspective, it's like, how can you feel betrayed if your so-called friend always showed you signs that they wasn't your friend? And then the dude you dealt with, right? It's like, if was it really a betrayal? Because, like, say the dude wasn't really your boyfriend. Y'all was just, you know, messing around. And then say the dude was broke as hell. Say the dude, um, you was doing for this person. You was taking care of him or you was bending over backwards for, for him. So, and then you know, like that dude, they not loyal to nobody. You know that dude can't commit to nobody. You know that dude, something wrong with the dude you was fucking with, right? So if you really sit back and analyze that situation, I use that situation as a example, but this could be anything like, if say if, um, say your coworkers conspired against you and they got you fired. And it, it, you know, when that situation happened, you took that shit to heart, like, damn, that's fucked up. I can't believe people would do some, something like that to me, you know? And you feel like these people betrayed you. But from like a higher perspective, did these people really betray you? Because those not your friends. You just work with these people, <laughs> right? You, if you just sit back and analyze it, you just work with those people. Those not your real friends. Uh, even if you hung out with them once or twice, a couple of times, went, went on lunch with them or some shit, right? If you just sit back and analyze that situation, um... Yeah, they betrayed you and threw you under the bus to your manager, but from like a higher perspective and using your logic, really and truly, that wasn't your friend. <laughs> it's, it's something like this, Divine Feminine. Like, once you just sit back and analyze the situations, what I don't know what type of, you know, I don't know what's going on, what happened in y'all lives, especially in the past. That's, you know, up to you to decipher what you feel like was betrayal. But if you look at these situations from a higher perspective, it's like the signs been there. Or um, it's like now that you are a, a, a new person, a different person, now that you're a divine feminine, you know, a person can't turn into a divine feminine overnight. It, it's certain things you, you, 
It's like you have to morph into being a divine feminine. You have to go through different um, trials and tribulations to become like the woman that you are today or the, the masculine that you are today, right? So with this hangman out here, I feel like when you look at shit, for what it is, you know, it, it is what it is. It, you feel like these people or a person or a company betrayed you, it is what it is. But from like a higher perspective, the people you work with, they don't owe you loyalty because you just met these people once you start working with them. And then they not your friends, you just work with them. And then like say if, uh, you know, say if your friend or even a family member messed around with somebody you know, it's like, you know, the family member always been jealous of you. You know, your friend always said, like, hating, hating that shit, hating remarks towards you. So, you know, like, man, honestly, it shouldn't be a surprise that these people messed around because look at the person you thought that was your friend and then look at the dude you thought you was in love with or had some with. That's what I have out here. Another mess I'm getting, somebody to be aware of this, but Divine Feminine, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like some type of, I, I see a betrayal happening, but this going to be big for somebody. Like, I heard dun, 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 dun. Yeah, with the, <laughs> with the Ten of Swords, with the Queen, Queen of Pentacles, whoever this person is, they need to be over. Uh, look, and then we got the Death card, too. And I heard dun 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 dun. Somebody need to be aware. But Divine Feminine, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is maybe a karmic woman or a karmic man or something. But so I heard about to get it. Somebody about to get it. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> somebody need to be aware of this Divine Feminine. But not you. I feel like this is going on with somebody else. Divine Feminine, if you in a relationship, I feel like this is coming to an end. I see family separating or divine feminine. Maybe these are people you know. But I feel, I see families breaking up, families separating. I heard businesses falling. It's going to be businesses falling. If these are schools... I see schools, I see daycares. I feel like this shit getting closed down. Recreational parks or something. I'm getting like where, where kids play. Something about to get shut down. Another message I'm getting, we could be going through another shutdown. Something is getting shut down. Like, I see schools getting shut down. I see, like, events. Like, events, concerts, um, games, sports. Any place where y'all can think of, like, what groups of people, crowds of people, hordes of people, when they, wherever they get together, I see shit getting shut down. I see businesses getting shut down. I see owners, people losing their mind. Somebody needs to be aware of this. Or, you know, maybe these are people you know, Divine Feminine. I have this out here. Somebody may pass away at like some type of event, like a concert. I heard Coachella. Somebody need to be aware of Coachella. Something gonna happen at Coachella. Or they it's gonna be something like either something gonna happen at Coachella or they gonna end up shutting it down. It's gonna get shut down this year or something like that. Rolling Loud. Y'all know these music festivals, Rolling Loud, Coachella. I feel like something's going to happen. Like, either it's going to be a person or people. 
Well, it's gonna be like a mass shooting, or it's gonna be shut down this year. So with the clubs, like clubs and bars, I see those getting shut down too. Some with the permits, the permits and the licensing, that shit getting shut down. What else do I have out here? A woman may pass away. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I see some going on with families too, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, if y'all masculine playing house with somebody else, Dun, 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 dun. Kaboom! I see something in flames. Like, <laughs> whatever these karmics thought they had with these masculines, shit. Shit. Okay? Mm mm. This ain't gonna be good. Divine feminine, some sh I feel like something is about to go down, and you're not gonna be around for this. I feel like you're going to hear, eventually you're going to hear about what's going on with people. But you're not going to be around for this. Divine Feminine, it was meant for you. Like, say if, say if um, you have not talked to a masculine. Or say if it's been a little conversation, just very little, very little to none. I feel like it was designed this way because when shit hit the fan, can't nobody throw you in the mix, Divine Feminine. Something's going to happen to where it's impossible for people to say like, man, Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine did voodoo on me. Divine Feminine called the authorities. Divine Feminine called Child Protective Services. It's like some shit about to go down to where it's impossible for people or for a person or for karmics to say you had anything to do with this. Divine Feminine, if you've been separated or like say if it's people that you used to be friends with or family members you used to be real cool with or something like that, say if it's minimum, minimum conversation to none or you just don't talk to these people at all. Even with old friends and family members, I see shit going down with them to where they can't, like, call you. They can't put their problems off on you. They can't use you to be, like, their problem solver. They can't use you to be, your, to be their solution. This right here that I'm picking up on, these people going to have to face, I heard, judgment. These people right here going to have to face judgment all by themselves. They're going to face judgment by themselves. And it's nothing that they can do. Like, they can't, like, bring you in the mix. They can't ask you what to do. Because if they was to ask you what to do, then they wouldn't be able to face judgment. Like, how they supposed to be facing it. But something, I feel like shit is going down. I feel like shit going down with people businesses. Uh, shit going down with people relationships. I see people passing away, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, I feel like this is a warning. Divine Feminine, what I'm picking up on, I feel like, this is a warning, not a warning, but it's like spirit keeping you up to date on what's going on with people. Divine Feminine, I feel like the people that I'm picking up on, these people could have rubbed you the wrong way. 
or these people could have did things to you. These people could have been like people you worked with, people you worked for, uh, people you used to be friends with, people you used to date, people you I heard thought highly of, people you thought highly of, people that you respected, people that you were there for. Um, I feel like all these people. Something bad about to happen to all these people. I heard took your kindness for weakness. People that took your kindness for weakness. People that thought that they can get over on you, fuck over you, and you wasn't going to find out. Um, <laughs> these people about to get what's coming to them. Which is, is people, it's like they're going to get laid off from work. Um, the business they work, the company they work for gonna get shut down. Yeah, it, it's something like this going on here. Yeah. This gonna be big. So with the hermit. So, these cards are just confirmation of what I was telling y'all already. With the hermit, with the hangman, if you sit back and analyze, look, with the betrayal, with the six, I mean, the ten of swords, with the hermit, with the hangman, if you feel like people betray you, if you just sit back and analyze these people you feel like betray you, it's like Divine Fippany, you being the hermit with the hangman, you feel like, well... How how did I expect this person to be loyal to me when they not even loyal to they, they other home girl or they other home boy that I know that my you know that your friends to talk shit about like a dog. So it's like divine feminine, once you sit back and analyze these situations, it's like was this shit really a betrayal? I mean, the dude, he wasn't my boyfriend, he didn't owe me no loyalty. I didn't expect much from him. <laughs> he didn't have, hell, he didn't even have self-respect for himself. And then, like I said, this is like a friend or a family member that could have did something to you, stole from you. So if a family member stole some money from you, and you feel like, damn, that's fucked up, that, that hurt it. Like, I can't believe they stole money from me. And Divine Feminine, if you just sit back and think of it, Think about the situation. Was it really that bad? Because you knew your family member. You knew they was bipolar. You knew something was wrong with them. You know they unstable. You know they can't keep a job. You know, um, <laughs> you know, it's some shit like this. So was it really betrayal? Was it really betrayal? Okay. You know these per this people, this person ain't shit. You know this information, so it's like, is it really betrayal? The lovers. So with the lovers, with the four of swords. Remember at the beginning of the reading, I said a masculine. Um, they visualize. They like your body. They visualize your body. They like looking at your ass cheeks, and they think about your ass and how it looked hitting you from the back <laughs> with the lovers with the four of swords this is just confirmation another message i'm getting when somebody is laying down when they lay down at night when they have some free time or when they about to take a nap or when they going to sleep i feel like that's when they think about you divine feminine with the lovers and the four of swords somebody think about you i, I heard before they go to sleep Every night before they go to sleep. Divine Feminine, I feel like a masculine, they think about you every single day. Like not a day goes by when your person do not think about you. And then Divine Masculine, flip it. Um, I'm picking up as feminines, Divine Feminines, they think about you every single day. Not a day go by when they don't think about you. They always think about you.
you know what? I'm going to just keep pulling. Yeah, I feel like something about to go down. Some bad about to happen to somebody to where they're going to want to move away. They're not even going to want to be in this town, live in this neighborhood, live in this area anymore. They're going to want to run away because they're going to feel so embarrassed. Look, we got the moon with the lovers, with the ten of pentacles. Shit. I see a relationship coming. Divine feminine, um, this gonna happen unexpectedly. Like, you're not gonna see this coming. I feel like it's a relationship being worked. It's like spirit. Okay. Spirit. Is working with your masculine to make sure he has everything together, everything in place before y'all come together. So this could be anything like, say if a masculine been trying to look for a better job, a high paying job, or say if a masculine um, been trying to find a, a nice home for y'all or something, right? With this moon, I feel like you don't know this information, Divine Feminine. We got the moon with the, the Ten of Pentacles. This is family. I got the Ten of Cups. Family, okay? So, another message I'm getting, I feel like a masculine is working behind the scenes. Um, I heard to impress. To impress the Divine Feminine. I know that's right. I have this out here, too. Divine Feminine, if you are in a, if you're in a relationship or Divine Feminine, if you're dating somebody, somebody, whoever you dating, they got a, a, a family. They have like a, a girlfriend or a wife. Be aware of this. Be aware, Divine Feminine, be aware of dating somebody and kind of find out they have a, a girlfriend. They got a family or something. Somebody got a, a somebody been hiding their family. <laughs> Be aware of this. Somebody been hiding their family. Divine Feminine, be aware of this. Whoever been hiding their family, I even feel like they have like a secret phone. They have like another phone. Somebody could have young kids, too. Yeah, I feel like somebody has a family. Be aware of this. Yeah, we got the lovers, the moon, with the ten of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody got a family. Somebody be hiding. Um, divine feminine, whoever this person is. I feel like somebody, who, they have like two houses. Or they have like an apartment and a house or something. Somebody have two different places where they lay their head at. Feel like somebody be lying saying they at work. It's something like divine feminine, whoever this person is, they'll lie and tell the spouse that they're at work. So the, the spouse won't call while y'all together divine feminine. And then they flip it. So when they with the spouse, they tell you, Divine Feminine, that they at work and they can't talk or something like that. Be aware of this. Somebody is full of shit. Mm-mm.
somebody is full of boo boo. I heard playing games. I feel like somebody playing games. Yeah, be aware of this divine feminine. Somebody may invite you on a trip. I see somebody traveling. Somebody may get invited on a trip. Another message I'm getting divine feminine, I feel like it's a, so this is like a whole nother message. I don't feel like this is your masculine. I feel like this is like a whole nother man. It's like when this man think of you, they think like y'all have something special and it was meant for y'all to meet. I heard angel in disguise. Divine feminine, she's just an angel in disguise. Oh my God. She's the most beautiful the most prettiest the most smartest woman i ever met it's like how this man think of that's how they think of you and i feel like when they're alone they think about like how life would be if y'all was to like actually get together like be together oh my lip was itching so yeah something like that whoever this man is Spirit, give me um, advice for Divine Feminine. We have strength. We have, look, new beginnings. Go for it. These cards are just confirmation of what I've been saying, especially what I said at the beginning of the reading. Okay, I know what the hell I be talking about. We have strength, new beginnings, and go for it. Okay? Avoid, and look, and avoid drama. <laughs> avoid, look, avoid drama, okay? I told y'all, y'all dealing with somebody, uh, and look, intuition at the bottom of the deck. I told y'all, y'all messing with somebody, and they have a, a family. And Divine Feminine, if you've been to this person's house, I feel like that's not even a house. I feel like the real house is where they have the family. It, I mean, if you've been to that house, be aware of, like, somebody inviting you to, like, an Airbnb or you've been to that house. Something is off with, like, say if you've been to this person's house, something is off. But the reason why it's off, because that's not really where they live at they live with the the baby mama the the wife the fiance they got little they got little kids too somebody got little kids maybe like four or five toddlers somebody's definitely living like a double life so they somebody got a family they hiding divine feminine be aware of this Mm -mm. And whoever got a family, I feel like they don't like the, the person they've been with. They don't like that person. But they came out as the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like whoever, Divine Feminine, if you're dating somebody, whoever, they have a, they have like a family with somebody else, right? But it's like the reason why, they got with that person 
because that person got money or um, that person invested into y'all person business or some shit like that. Um, I heard cultural. Like cultural, it was it was the right thing to do to get with this person because it's a part of their culture, right? For example, like if somebody is a say if somebody is a Nigerian, say if somebody is a Nigerian, and I mean it's a part of their culture to like maybe stick with the Nigerian. So this person, they have like a Nigerian wife, but really they attracted to American women. It's some shit like this, so. The dude got, so we're going to take the Africans, for example. It's something like this going on with somebody that you don't know, Divine Feminine. But I'm using this for example. So, like, say if somebody um, is dating a Nigerian. Culturally, it made sense for them to get with their Nigerian wife because it's a part of their tradition, Right? And, you know, they procreated with this, this person, but really, they like American women, or they like European women. They like Mexican women or something like that, right? So, this person who, somebody, they cheated on a spouse or girlfriend, baby mama, so, when, bitch, when I say so many times, but it's because they really not attracted to this person. Like, they're really not attracted to this person. Divine Feminine, be aware of... I'm not saying y'all person is a Nigerian. I use that for example, but somebody is definitely messing around with another person that's hiding a family. And I feel like whoever they hiding, it's like they dead ass not attracted to whoever they been with. But they got with that person because logically... It made sense for them to get with that person, but like emotionally, they connect with you, divine feminine, or they connect with other people, bitch. I don't know, but be aware of dealing with somebody like this. Thank you. Bye bye.